what do you do when you have two two uh, two products and one grain truck on the farm? Use a grain cart. Look at that! Oh, all kinds of room. I had to wait for Dad to get back with the hopper. We just had a little lit tub. The center cut out of it. And then you just it's kind of a hopper, you just seal her up. up in March and it's what uh, what's it called chronic pain I think is the word for it and uh, oh my goodness talk about draining like sucks the life out of you it's like you're uh, it just oh it's not good just, yeah anyways enough of that rambling we are getting close to the finish line. After this field, all we have left is some barley and a little bit of silage, but the barley is not really too bad because it's a really super short season, 75 days, so yeah. It's okay. Do our prime test. Look at all those peas and oats. Yeehaw! This is going to be fun actually. We upped our pea rate and up the oat rate a bit. So we're putting on 140 pounds of oats. They're heavy oats, so it's like three bushel of oats. And almost three bushel of peas, so 160 to 180 pounds of peas. So this is our heaviest intercrop yet. So <laughs> it'll be interesting. Very interesting what happens. So at least I think so. Now we haven't done this before. At least you guys haven't seen it yet. Oh, I put our chain on here. this up there we go now the only difference today is we got to change our rate we're going to 50 acres of tank instead of looks like our seal leaking we're going to 50 acres of tank instead of 40 and for that we need Pump set in five six five point six four. So we go to I 
Let's undo that little marsh for us. Yeah, a little more than that. There. Yeah. Close enough. That's about three, five and three quarters. So close enough. Be a little higher. So if we run out on the last like two acres, I can live with that. It'll be like a test trip. Test trip. Test trip. Let's give this a little. gas fashion I thought tally ho and away we go and since these air brakes can't really take a lot of as much material as I thought when we're putting down like 300 and some pounds of product oats especially we got to uh, slow down and this one is plugged look at that lovely it is a little wet here. Oh. I think this whole uh, this whole little chunk here is uh, kind of off limits. I think we'll put this little bit of seed in the ground on this outside ground. But I think the next one we're gonna just go to the edge of this right there because there's very good chances it not are gonna grow. It's just a little too much moisture. 20, 27 acres. Oh yeah, dad's going for the ditch. 27 acres of hill. Whew, that is nasty. I need a better funnel than this, but maybe I guess it works. that go definitely faster than that seven inch auger <laughs> progress is finally being made after a very depressing and stressful day stuff's happening I'm happy in the words of the the world famous Rodney um, it could always be worse if it's twice as bad yeah it could always be worse if it's twice as bad so words to live by and today was one of those days uh, there I guess that's it Got it. Oh. Whoa! Don't have to, the auger can stay full. The auger can stay full since we're not moving it. Well, that's full, I think. Yeah, should be lots of oats here. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Almost looks like we knew what we're doing. get the full uh, 27 acres to this fill. That road's plug. Oh no. Still going through. Yeah, those air brakes suck. Definitely needs a different air brake. I like this, this drill. It needs, it needs different air brakes. 
and he's a little bit of well, this actually does me a lot of work i just like it the undercut barton they're so nice i'm i'm quite a fan that air brake completely cooked but it looks like it's still putting seed down there's just a lot of it blown out the top mm. oh well and we're filling I need to put lights all around this cart, like, you know, new ones. They got, like, lights on the end of the auger, lights shining all over. Is that put underglow in this tank, maybe? I don't know. Something. Well, it's time to fill the jacked up with hydraulic oil. It's about finally got low enough. Put, like, two pails of oil in it. I do like these Klondike pails, though. They got steel handles. They look cool. They're cheaper. Which I don't know what more you could ask for. Come on. I think they make tools for this. But I've only seen them. Oh, hippie garbage. No, there, there's actually uh, there's actually something to it. So, as hippie-ish sounding as it is, positive thoughts goes a long way to making your day better or the year or whatever. So, on the positive side, hydraulics are full. We won't have to worry about them for the rest of the day. The amount of material we're putting down, I'm quite impressed. We are only going like just under four mile an hour. I am very impressed with how well this thing is doing. These air brakes, these Dutch air brakes, not as much a fan of them as I thought I would be. They blow too much air out the bottom. Or is it this? And they don't handle. very well of material so oh well actually not so bad Charlie ho let's keep rolling let's finish these oats today then all we got left is barley three nothing wait a second two nothing <laughs> the only people cheer cheering in Florida are the Oilers fans. My cousin's down there right now and his buddy of his. I think I can hear them actually. Sir, all I can hear you. Yeah. Apparently it's 3 nothing. So. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, they're three nothing. That's wild. Like, can't get too excited yet, right, Abby? We can't get too excited yet. But three nothing. Like we Oilers, we've lost. We've had. Have we had five nothing and lost it? I can't remember. But we've had really good leads and completely blew it. So, you know, there's that caveat. But 3 nothing, We might actually be bringing this back to game six on Friday. Like... What do you think, Abby? This, this is wild. This is... Like they are saying today when I was listening to the pregame show. We're three, we're, we're three games away from winning the Stanley Cup. Three! Like, that's as close as we've been since 2006. <laughs> what I'm waiting for now while I'm just standing in the yard. We just finished the uh, oats, pea oats. And now we're waiting. We're going to partially fill this tank with molasses. Trucks, truck should be here within... 20 minutes, half hour. Look at that. The molasses is here. Mm. Get the ovens ready. We're gonna start making some ginger snap cookies. We got molasses. It's flowing. It's warm too. Mmm. What do we got here? A cap on this stuff. Mmm. You know what? If I didn't think so, I would say mm, that tastes like cane molasses. Hmm, that's weird. Didn't think cane molasses came in a truck. What? No. And away he goes, he's empty. 28 ton of pure cane molasses. <laughs> we get to seed the rest of the crop with good proper cane molasses, not this mold mix from the seed plant. It works, it just, you need to put a lot more of it on to get the same amount of molasses. And this stuff smells good. Oh, does it smell good. Oh. Game six, boys and girls. Edmonton, this Friday. Holy! <laughs> it's gonna be a good year. Even if we don't win the cup, for the first time since 2006, we're in the Stanley Cup Finals, baby. Like, two games in a row, we could have been eliminated. Well, one game blew Florida right out of the water. Like, just nothing left. Just pieces. This time, they worked hard. And they had, like, yeah. It was a challenge. But, <laughs> it's going to be a good year. Peas and oats are done. Everything's cleared off the field, like, in record time. I'm just going to take this chain off. And, uh... Yank the drill back. Finish doing uh, spring burn off tomorrow. Oh, maybe we get a little bit of rain tonight. Maybe. <laughs> it's going to be a good year.